everybody. Uh, welcome to the next art lesson we've got. Miss McAvoy here. How are you all doing? Hope you're all keeping well. Now, remember last week we did our settler's picture and we put our fire in. We've got the, the fire there and the two settlers that were sat down along the fire cooking, cooking their food. So today we're going to colour it in. So today's colours, if you are using coloured pencils, today you'll need a yellow, an orange, a red, a blue, a light green and a dark green, a brown, a light brown, and a dark brown or medium brown. And then we'll have a grey colour and a black. But as usual, we don't have to have those colours. Um, if you're just using your normal colouring, your, your drawing pencil or your writing pencil, then you can just use shades, can't you? You can press lighter for a lighter colour or press harder for a darker shade. So, let's get started. Now, as usual, like when we, when we paint it at school, we're going to start at the top and then slowly work down. So we're not going over what we've already done down here and smudging all our hands or our arms. So I'm taking the blue, I've got the blue pencil look. So get your blue pencil and we're going to start in the sky. Now, what we're going to do first with that blue pencil, I think, is we're going to put just a couple of clouds in the sky. So I'm just going to draw a bit of a wibbly shape on the top and a flat shape on the bottom. There's one cloud and I'll do a smaller one here, wibbly shape on the top and a flat shape on the bottom. Now, as usual, when we like just like when we're painting the sky, I'm going to go from a left to right. I'll go over the top of that tree. I'm not pressing too hard. I don't want it too dark, so try not to press your pencil too hard. But the main thing is that you're going left to right. Just like that. You're not you're not colouring it in up and down, round and round. It's only going left to right. And then when I get down to the to the cloud, I'm still going left to right. But I'm going to go left to right around the shape that I've drawn. I'm still going left to right, look. But I'm just avoiding that shape. There we go. So let's still go left to right. Let's fill in that now. Now I know I've got my cloud in there. Let's still do that left to right. Okay. Let's go across here. Left to right still. All right. Now I've got my cloud, so I've got to be really careful. I'm still going left to right. There we are. And I'm going to go all the way, doing this, all the way down to the bushes. Let's make sure I get to the near to the end as I can. Okay. And I've got the bushes here, look, these distant bushes, so I've got to be careful. So I'll draw a line across, colouring that in, so I know that I can't go any further than that line there. Now, I've got to be really careful around here as well because I don't want to go over the wood. This wooden part here. And I've got to be careful around there as well. So I'm not going over anything that I don't want that blue colour to be. I'll colour inside there. I'm still doing left to right look. Let's go up there. So I've got that ready and I'm coming down and down and down and down using that left to right movement and I'll come across here let's make sure that they're all to the edge as much as I can there we go now, now I've got to be careful around here let's put some left to right motion there I'm filling that tiny gap there some blue and I'm still doing my left to right there, and I'll just cut in around there. There we go. Now, so that's the sky done. I'll go over it very gently so it's 
come so you can see it on your on the video lovely okay so that's the sky done now let's work on this background here these bushes here so the bushes what i'd like to do i think we're going to get a bit of the yellow and a bit of the brown and a bit of the dark green so we've got three colors the yellow the light brown and the dark green so let's make it a bit yellowy down the bottom put a bit of yellow in there it could be autumn time it might not be summertime this picture and autumn colors you'll have yellows and oranges and light browns as well as greens so let's now go in with my brown and you don't have to go left to right when you're when you're putting this in you can you can go slanted like i'm going in the slant i'm not doing it up and down i'm kind of slanting it it's diagonal okay and then let's get a bit over there we'll put a bit in over here as well round by that person okay now let's get some green in so i'm going to go to the to the dark green if you've got a darker green if not just use what green you've got and i'm trying not to go over the brown or the yellow i'm trying to go around the brown and the yellow okay and then again i'm still doing it at a slant look at a diagonal slant i'm still doing it that way i'll draw the line across the bottom now just to make sure i get a nice line across the bottom and then this way will be slanted as well i'll just very slightly put a few lines in there go in between those yellow and the brown let's do another one over here just draw a line across Go over that yellow very slightly, just in the middle here. So, I'll do the top. Go over, like I said, go over a little bit of the yellow in the middle. So we've got a bit more green in the middle, and then along the bottom, and in this gap here. Can't forget that gap. And then let's do this side. I can follow that line across the top if I want. And I can just colour in at a slant again still. Some lines that come down. Alright. Okay. So we've done that at a slant, a diagonal. We've done lines that come in across for that. But the distant hedges or bushes. I'm just following that top line across to make sure I've filled in all the gaps. So all I've done there. Now. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. It's got a nice, nice bottom look where it's all coloured in. A nice straight bottom where we drew that line last week. There we go. Now, let's look at the tree. Let's go in with our light brown first. I'm going to colour in that tree with a light brown first. I've got two browns, a light brown and a dark brown. If you've got just one colour brown, you can press lightly for a light brown and then press harder for a dark brown. So if you're doing this with just one colour brown pencil, press lightly at this point. Now, Okay, I've got that main trunk in there, look. Now, do you remember all the branches that we drew in? Let's make that come a bit lower than the line of the, the hedges, so it doesn't look like it's part of the hedge. So I'm just bringing a few little lines coming down. Now, I'm going to find my dark brown. And then I'm going to put some branches in with a dark brown. So all the branches that I drew in last week, I'm going to go over with this dark brown now. So let's get in all those branches. Remember we draw the one branch and then off that branch there's another branch, off that branch there's another branch. 
that's how we do the very thin branches remember they're not all sticks they are a bit wobbly because they're branches so they're not dead straight they're a bit wobbly not too wobbly just a little bit a little bit curved okay little bit more just a few more try and remember and see where I put them before okay do one more there we go let's make sure they all join onto that branch we don't want any that's hovering in midair now now I've done those, oh we've got another branch there, look let's do that. Now I've done that with this dark one, I can go over and make it look like it's, it's a proper tree bark by putting some wiggly lines in, look. Because we've got the darker colour on the top and the lighter colour underneath then. So I'm not losing that lighter colour, I'm just putting in the wiggly lines that we drew in last week. Just to show that it's got a bit of texture to it because bark got a lot of texture to it. it's quite rough isn't it if you if you rub your hands over it so it's got all lines on it so i'm just putting some lines in look there we go that looks better now now while i've still got that dark pencil how about we color in the wood on here because the wood here would be quite dark i've got to be careful when i get to the handle because the handle goes over that wood so i've got to miss out that handle part on the left hand side there and I'm colouring in these parts here. Okay, and then this part here. Right. Let's do this part here now. There we go. And then let's do this part here. And that's all coloured in. Let's make sure that's nice and dark across the top there. And it goes straight the way across there. There we go. Lovely. What else could be brown? While I've got that pencil, I'm thinking of all the wooden logs that this fire started from. So while I've got that brown pencil, before I put it down, and colouring all these logs down the bottom here. Remember they all went in different directions, don't do them all in the same direction, some cross over each over others. They cross over each other. So there's there's my logs on the fire there. Okay. And the last thing I think while well, we've got that brown pencil. This person here sat on a, a stool. But the stool would be brown. It'd be a wooden stool. Let's colour in that wooden stool. Just like that. There we go, he's on his stool. Now, I think we should do the pot next because we're working down. So the pot would be black. You could either use a black pencil. If you haven't got a black pencil, use the pencil that you drew your drawing with and just press quite hard and that will give you a dark colour. Now remember, look, you miss out that part there. Don't go over the wood, only over this side of the wood where we go over there. We go, that is to the back of the wood here. Now inside the pot, I'm going to press it a little bit lighter, so it's a little bit lighter there. But then the outside of the pot here, at the front of the pot, would be quite dark. There we go. There's my pot. Okay, so now we've got it lighter there and we've got darker down here. And if you want, you can colour it in in the shape that it is. It's a round shape. So I'm just going over the top with a round kind of motion, just like that. Okay, let's concentrate on the fire now. Now, when we paint or colour in fire, the main three colours that we use are yellow, orange and red so let's start on the very very bottom of the fire here which would be yellow that's our hottest part of the fire there so we do a yellow down there 
Then above the yellow, I'm going to put in a bit of orange. If you remember when we did our painting before, at the lesson when we were all at school, I think we did fire then, didn't we? And we did, oh no, it was a lamp, wasn't it, when we, when we did our lamp? So we put yellow, then we put orange, and then we put some red. So we're just doing the same, just with pencil. So remember that the fire comes quite high up, look, so I'm putting a bit of red there. Let's go back in with a bit more orange there as well. You can mix it on the top if you want. You can go over the, the red with the orange and then go over the orange with a bit of red on the top. So all the colours mix in together. You've not just got one flat colour in there. Let's get a bit more orange in that part there. And like I said, go over again with a bit of red there. There's that fire. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. Now, let's think about these people now because we're working down again. So, if you have a orange pencil, what you can do is very, very lightly go over the face of the person. If you've got a pink pencil, you can do it with a pink. But, and his hands as well, he's got a hand. We can't see his hand there, so that's fine. But very, very lightly, just I'm going over with my orange pencil. Now, the clothes, the settlers wore quite dark clothes, not like our clothes today that are really colourful. So I'm going to put some dark clothes on. So you can either use your pencil that you drew with, you drew the picture with, which is a grey, or you can use the black if you've got black. So I'm going to use this grey pencil for his, his top. No. Okay, so there's his arm. I've got to remember his arms there. Okay. We might lose his arm, but that's fine. I can get in a bit darker there if I do. Look, if I press a bit harder, I'll get his arm back. There we go. You can see his arm now. And on this side, again, I'll do this. Maybe I might press a bit lighter this time on this side because we don't want it looking exactly the same on both sides. But again, let's make his arm a bit darker so I don't lose his arm in the in the colour. There we are. Now I've got some black. So I should put the grey pencil down. I'll go to the black pencil and I'm putting in his trousers. So his trousers will come up to there. Let's make them come a bit higher. And I'm just colouring in his legs, really. That's all I'm doing. I'm not pressing too hard. I don't want it too dark because I'm going to get the shoes a bit darker. Now let's do it on the other side. Let's get in his legs. There's his legs. So then I'll just colour that in. Okay, not too, too dark. Now let's get in this side. Okay. Let's make his trousers come a bit higher up. There we go. Colour it in a bit darker on the front leg. Press a bit harder. Now for the shoes, let's get in quite dark. So I'm pressing quite hard for the shoes. There you go. These shoes on this side. There we are. Oh, his hair. Remember that we did hair. Let's colour in his hair a bit. This dark colour. And this hair, remember, it goes in the the other direction that he was looking in so let's do this hair there all right so that that part's done now let's do the grass the final part now do you remember when we painted grass at school before and it, it's a bit like in the hedge here we started off with a yellow color didn't we then we went to, to a middle green so i'm going to start off with a yellow color and again remember if we do it a bit like in the sky where if you do it left to right that shows that the grass is flat if you're colouring it in up and down it might look like the grass is falling down and you're on a hill so if we can do it left to right that'd be good go as far to the edge and the bottom as you can and keeping it as as level as you can as well and let's do this left to right motion just like in the sky all the way down in between the stool and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom so we're doing this left to right all the way down to the bottom fabulous now i've got a light green so i'm putting a bit of light green in over the top of the yellow 
so it doesn't look quite as yellow as it now with that light green over the top but I'm still doing it in that left to right motion it's exactly the same as in the sky okay now There we go, so I've gone all over the yellow with a light green. So it's not quite as yellow anymore. Now let's get to my darker green. If you're doing this with your pencil that you write with, what you can do is you can start off with a very, very light pencil. So hardly pressing at all. And then get very, very slightly, a bit harder. And then for this dark green that I'm going to put on now, you'd press a bit harder still. So you get three different pressures. You get a light pressure pressing on the pencil, a medium pressure, and then a hard pressure. Okay. But with this, I'm not going to go over it completely. Look, I'm just going to miss some bits out. I'll do a bit here, a bit there, a bit there, a bit under the fire where it might be a bit darker, a bit over here, a bit over here. So I'm not covering it completely like I did with the yellow and like I did with the light green. I'm just going to do just a few places, look, where it's just a, a bit of a, a dash, a straight line, look. A straight line there, a straight line there. So can you see that you can still see that yellow underneath, because I'm not covering it completely. So a bit of a dash there, a bit of a dash there, a bit of a straight line there, a bit of a straight line there, a bit of a straight line there. So we're just getting little marks or long lines of this dark colour. But it's not all over. And I think that that will do us for today. Oh, one other thing. I think we'll just do one last thing. With the grey pencil or a darker pencil, a black pencil, we could just maybe put a bit of a shadow underneath, underneath that person's bottom and underneath the, the feet there. We could put a bit of a shadow underneath the stool. So I'll just draw a line that goes straight across. And underneath his feet there, he'd have a bit of a shadow there. And all that is, is with that dark grey pencil or a black pencil and not pressing too hard. So it just gives it a bit of a 3D look. look. So we, we've got a bit of a bit of a shadow there. So it's not, it doesn't look like it's floating on the grass. Because it is, is, is on the grass is anchored down so it must have a shadow especially with the lovely blue sky we've got and we'll just put a bit of a shadow underneath the fire as well we'll put a darker color underneath the fire as well there we go so that's our finished painting for this week i think you're all doing fabulous your teacher's telling me how good you're doing with your work so i'm really looking forward to when we can all see each other again and you can show me what you've done you can show me these pictures that we've been doing together so until next week stay safe stay healthy and stay smart and i'll see you again bye bye